lovelies and welcome to today's video. Today is the Friday before Easter. So we've got, yeah, cause it's like three o'clock in the evening. We've got less than two days officially until the Easter Bunny is coming. And I wanted to do a video for you guys to do a last minute what's in my toddler and my infant's Easter basket haul so you guys can get last minute items to kind of throw together if you're in that scenario or if you're still needing some basket fillers because you don't have quite enough or as quite as many things since this year is so crazy i didn't really have time to shop for easter baskets so if you guys are in the same boat and you're needing a couple little fillers definitely stay tuned to today's video so you guys can see everything that i've packed together really quickly like i said i would say 90 percent of this stuff is from target drive up so you could literally place an order today get it today and be on your way i do have two baskets to fill this year one for Kala and one for sister. I haven't announced her name yet over on Instagram. Stay tuned because it's gonna come very, very soon. I had a couple things that I wanted to do before I announce it to you guys over on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, I will link my handle on the bottom of the screen here for you guys to go check out. I always do like stories way more often over there too. I'm way more active on Instagram. So as I transition into this motherhood of two time period, Thing. It's taking me a while to kind of get back into YouTube. Um, but in the meantime, you can definitely keep up with us over on Instagram. So I'm going to share with you guys everything that I've got. And I'm actually going to be packing the Easter baskets as well. So kind of killing two birds with one stone. Then I'm going to have Donald take everything to the basement. And bring back up when it's time for the Easter Bunny to arrive. So the only thing I have in here right now is grass filler. I got two bags. One of just regular green and then some iridescent to kind of mix in, which I think is really cute. Both of these baskets are from Pottery Barn. Um, I know that when I ordered the end of last week for Sister's Basket, I did it kind of last minute. I had gotten her liner with her name on it weeks ago, but then I realized it didn't have an extra basket that was gonna fit it. So when I placed the order at the end of last week, it literally came in a couple days, but I, I think at this point you can't order in enough time. To get here for Easter but I do know Target had a lot of really cool baskets too and I think some people were saying on social media that some of the Pottery Barn liners actually fit into the larger size Target Easter basket so keep that in mind. Tala just has the traditional white Easter basket in the large size and then she has the tulle pink tutu um, liner with her name on it so cute and then sister this year I got her the um i love this pattern from pottery barn kids it's like gold they also have silver strung in between just like the regular wicker looking basket the only thing i don't like about this is the handle itself doesn't stay up i kind of wish it would instead it falls back and forth some people might like that um not exactly my first preference but we'll go with it and then of course i got her the gingham large size basket liner as well and her name is on the other side of it so the biggest thing that i got for cala for easter we've actually already opened it's an inflatable easel um and it's been really really fun i will try and do like a clip of it so you guys can see how big it is but it's a blow up easel for outside um, it's definitely just something fun for Kala to do to paint. She really loves to paint. Um, but again, with all this quarantine stuff, we've already opened it because we're looking. We've been looking for tons of ideas to keep us busy here at home. I got each of the girls' books. They had quite a few cute Easter books at Target this year. This one says, I believe in bunny corns, or that's the title. Super cute, so I got that for Kala. And then this is Jimmy Fallon's newest book. We have his first two, and we really like them. Just a really simple book for baby babies. So Kala's gonna be excited to be able to read this to sister too. I picked Kala up a couple of these books. We actually got a Elsa paint book, a Moana painting book, and this Peter Cottontail Easter Bunny paint book. So it's just kind of like a coloring book, but instead of coming with crayons or markers, it's come, it comes with paint. And like I said, Calla really likes to paint. So I thought that that was really cool. I just give her like a little dish of water and then she stays and plays with this for a good portion of time. So now we have three of those because they were running a deal, I think, where it's like buy two books, get one free, and these qualified for it. I also picked her up one of these bubble blasters. So it looks like you put this little container of bubbles underneath 
attach it to the bubble blaster. It does take batteries, but it comes with them. I've seen kind of back and forth reviews on these online, but I wanted to try them um, just because I think that it's a really cute idea and hopefully it does work out for us. What I've seen online is like it works for some people, but it doesn't work for everybody. So fingers crossed, it was really cheap anyways. And if you're wondering, I would just keep this container and refill this over and over because I don't know if you can buy just like the single bubble cartons, but get like a larger container of bubbles from Target. They have some scented ones. I can link um, some of the scented ones down in the description box and then refill this so you can keep reusing this. Last bigger gift that I got for Kala for her Easter basket is one of these Play-Doh kits. If you guys do follow me over on Instagram, you'll have already seen me talking about this. I found a, a lady who makes and sells these from a relatively close state of mine um, for really cheap in comparison to a lot of other places and they're really, really cute. So she made an Easter version one. Um, this is what it looks like. Comes with Play-Doh and comes with little trinkets that you can play around with. It's basically like a Play-Doh sensory kit. I've gotten three others from her, I think. One of them was Kawa's big sister gift. We got like an Elsa one. She has lots of different princess designs. Um, I think there's Toy Story. We also got a Mickey. She really likes to play with Play-Doh and this is kind of an extra fun way to do it. Also, I think a lot of people think that they can make these themselves really easily, but I don't know about you guys, especially right now, I don't have like all of these trinket type things laying around, like little mini carrots a bunny, Easter eggs. I just, it would take me so much time to go around and find all of those things to put them together in a box. So it was just really fun, really affordable option to have somebody do it for you. I picked up this really cute, it says Great Grape Bath Bomb with Squish Toy Surprise from Target as well. I went ahead and picked up some additional bath crayons. Calla really likes to have bath time in general and we're always running out of crayons, so I added that to my pickup order. She also has been missing out on lipstick here recently, so I got her some Jolly Rancher Blue Raspberry flavored lip balm. And the rest of it, if I'm honest, is just candy. I didn't go overboard on candy because I know we're also gonna be doing an egg hunt of our own at home, obviously. Um, and inside the egg, she's gonna get all the candy from that too. So I try not to go super overboard with candy because then we're just gonna have so much more for her to eat. But I did pick up some fun things. She's really into Pez. I got her an Elsa Pez for Valentine's Day and ever since then she's really into it. So I got her a new one, a bunny one. I got her some Junior Mint eggs because Calla is obsessed with mints and this is gonna be the first time she tries them. So we'll see if she likes them. She's been asking for a chocolate bunny since last Easter. So I got her a cute little lint gold bunny flower edition. And then lastly, I got her a bunny ring pop. The flavor is strawberry. And then the last and final thing is actually for the baby. I got the new baby a Bright Starts Safari Beats. It's just a musical toy, one that we don't have. Um, I felt like this is something that not only the baby would like here in a little bit, obviously not right now because she's still brand new, but this would be something that Calla would have fun to kind of play with her in addition to. And it's also supposed to be good for tummy time. So you can kind of set it in front of them and then help them, encourage them to spend more time doing tummy time. All right, so here are the girls' Easter baskets, full and ready to go. Like I said, I'm gonna have Donald take them down to the basement and that's where I will keep them before the Easter Bunny comes. Can't believe that we have two Easter baskets this year. I know that this year is gonna be so much fun because Kala last year had a blast doing the egg hunt and I know that this year she's gonna love it even more just cause she's a little bit older. It's so sad that the world is kind of in the place that it's in right now, but it reminds us to kind of treat every moment especially special. Know that everything will get better eventually and things are gonna get back to normal and hopefully when they do, everybody will be able to be a little bit kinder a little bit more empathetic um, and a little bit more 
caring of all of their time that they have. Okay, that is gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and got some really good ideas. Again, I will go ahead and link everything that I've talked about today down in the description box. You guys can go put it in order really fast if you still need to. I hope you guys have an amazing Easter and really enjoy the time that you have, the quality time that you have, spending it with those closest to you. If you guys are new to my channel, you will definitely wanna stick around for all of the content that I'm gonna have coming out here very, very soon. So be sure to hit the subscribe button down below before you guys leave today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited to either have your baskets complete or they will be complete very, very soon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.